What? I know. Definitely. Def we definitely got to get some. For sure. For sure. Yeah. What? Yeah? Yep. You're gonna have less pain than you've, than you've experienced in years, babe. Years. You might be able to jog on the beach soon. <laughs> I might not even need to. I'm not, I'm not sure how that works, you know? I don't know. Maybe another bath that will come out the side, but maybe not. Maybe that was all of it. Maybe it wasn't. There's no telling. Okay. You sense in your body that the other side still needs to go? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. It'll come. It'll come, babe. We got to up the, uh, P, the pH on your uh, diet. Um Get, get your uh, system more alka alkaline, less acidic, less sugars. Yeah, but you got to start drinking some apple cider vinegar with me. The, so the sooner you do that, start doing that regularly, the sooner that left side will clear out. Babe, we're talking about saving your life. Babe, we're talking about saving your life here. Okay. <laughs> well, it likes you, so... <laughs> No, what I mean is, it's so good for you, you just gotta fucking take it like it's a shot of liquor and deal with it. Or we can uh, work something else out, I'm sure. We'll figure something out. <laughs> uh, actually, I do think that has something to do with it. Something was different about our sex the other night. Yeah? Um, it was just so exceptionally incredible. <laughs> was it? It was for me. Fucking amazing. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily that it did anything different. It just felt, uh, I felt much more connected to you than normal. Like, like some sort of rift between us had been removed. Somehow, I don't. Uh, it's hard to explain. I know. You don't want to what? Yeah, I know. Shh. It's a natural. Divine intervention. 
<laughs> and so, interdimensional interaction in a positive light. Okay, whatever you want to do, baby. It's fine. I'll be there with you. Okay? Yeah. For sure. We can work it out. Get it all figured out, baby. I don't know, babe. We can research it before committing to it. If you want, whatever you want to do. Huh? Just pay, pay close attention to how your body's feeling, what it's doing, okay? And focus on your breathing. If you start to feel hy hyperventilating, okay, let's just do that for now. We'll worry about the rest later. But if you what? Get your body to what? Do what? I'm finding it hard to understand you. Can you just tell me to get out? Okay. What? Uh. Babe, let it. Okay. Okay. You could probably still reactivate it as soon as you get back in here. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. We'll figure something out. I don't know. When is Ben? Uh, babe, just focus on your body, okay? Get out of the bath if you want to. If you don't want to, then don't, okay? Stop worrying about the rest. If it's coming out, let it go. It's okay. But if you feel if it's like, feels like a like you know like when you got to take a shit, it's one you should hold for a little longer. Then feel free to hold it if you want. Because the shit will still come out next time you're in the water. Sure of it. Yeah, feel free if you want to. Yeah, exactly. That's ex that's why I refer to the taking a shit thing. It's uh, If it feels like you have that much control over it, it's going to come out next time if you let it. So don't even trip. It might even be better. You're in more control of it than you realize. More than you, you know more than you think. You're just coming to realization of what you've already known the whole time. Yes, babe. We were born with the knowledge of of the power to heal our own bodies. It was robbed from us. Robbed from us in this world has been the power of healing. We are relearning it. You're going to be fine. Just fine. You gotta take a shit, you gotta take a shit. <laughs> sometimes it can wait, sometimes it can't. <laughs> I know. Don't worry about my perception of the situation, I'm fine. Nothing's gonna change the way I feel about you. Okay? What, are you okay? I know. Um, babe, what do you want me to text Risley? Because it's been like a half hour and he, he said you text him in 15 minutes to let him know if you're okay or whatever. Yeah. It's past two, babe. No. It's, it's 201. Yes, ma'am.
Okay, okay. Shit, fuck. Bench. Uh, I'm just, uh, but babe, I'm just, my nerves are racked, okay? I'm sorry. I just, don't mind me. <laughs> It's kind of like you know the DMT first DMT experience. It's like you th you think you know something, you go and then you experience that, and you realize you're fucking minuscule and don't know shit about the whole grand scope of everything. You know, that's when you realize you're like, wow, wow, okay. this thing they call life existence is amazing, yeah. and. Yeah. I've never been with anyone experiencing what you're experiencing right now either. I don't know what you're saying. It's okay to say anything at all. If you're, you don't have to say anything. Just let it ride, okay? Feeling as slow as possible, okay? Huh? It doesn't hurt. Awesome. It's good. Yes. Yep. That's right. Deep, deep wow. It's it's fucking it's fucking like or this thing comes back to life or some shit, you know. Your body's like, oh my god, it, it's dead. Get it out. Get it out. You know, that's basically what your body's doing. That's exactly what's happening. Yep. Pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah. 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 It's a fucking the disease that causes death is a a, a life unto itself. It's but the uh when cancer is alive, it's black. When it's dead, it's white. I know that. You know that too, don't you? Yeah. Yes. White. Yep. That means it's dead. It's fucking awesome. It's fucking amazing. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. It seems to be slowing in volume and speed. Okay. You can get back in after we do whatever we got to do for these people or whatever. I don't know. What can, what are we going to do with these people? I don't know. I know. Uh, what's happening to you right now is what... I know, huh? Let it shock you no more. It's always the power to rid yourself of ailment has always been with you within you. It always has been there. If you weren't aware enough to believe or something, I don't know exactly, but something about your perception, your your natural ability to heal thyself. I'm, I, that's what I think's going on. Sometimes you just need a little little. Kickstarter help help from someone that has the energy to get it help you get it get it going yeah. and that's what I've been trying to give you when I put my hands on you when you're sleeping
<laughs> I know. I bet. I would want to too. <laughs> yep. It's fucking rooting into your body for a long time, babe. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Yeah. Is that amazing? Um, I'll show you when you get up. Wow, it's a uh, awesome. <laughs> it's a um, a being of light <laughs> above your Steve's bed, blue trans. Huh. Wow. It's beautiful. You don't have any white shit coming out of you? Yes, in small amounts. It's kind of, it was kind of jelly-like. Remember, we talked about it briefly, because we both had it briefly at the other apartment. Mine's not jelly at all. Yeah, that's different, huh? It was kind of like uh, harder than lotion, but but softer than jelly. And it would come out like in kind of like ovalish things into the water. No, I mean that's that's the shape it would naturally take in the water when it would come out my back of my my calf, oh. or the back of the my wings of my back. Oh, did it, did it oh no, it's just uh, there, I had a few baths where like um I'd have like I'd find like one or two of these little like white little blob thingies in the in the bathtub. That's all. It, half the time it could have been a little glob of lotion from me putting lotion in the bath. You know what I mean? What's uh, the natural anesthetic? Like, The Sprite. What? I just saw a Sprite. One of those little like, mm, like flashlight looking flashes that happen on the wall. Like it's, it just appears real quick and then flies off like a fairy thing. Yeah, yeah I call those Sprites. Whoa. In the world. What are you doing I just want to look at it, babe. That's all. That's fine. No problem. You don't need a lot, do you? No, no, no. You don't even have to let me do that at all. I'm only asking uh, for the sake of reason. I want to know what you see. Yeah. I, I'd want to see that shit too. I, I just, I'm just asking for the sake of you know, research, for learning about you know, whatever it is. I'm definitely not a doctor, but I know some things about healing bodies that I don't know how I, or how or why I know it, honestly. Like, I don't know how I knew how to move that coffee cup the other night, but all of a sudden I just knew. You know what I mean? I don't know. I can't explain how or why. Not yet, at least. But I know I can. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty Like I said, baby, I don't know shit. I know very little.
<laughs> I know very little. Yeah. You're, de detoxing. You're detoxifying, exactly. Not just sweating out, you know, liquid waste, but. Oh, no. bad. Okay, no. We're not alone. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you, when you later when you can uh, come to terms with what you're experiencing after. Yeah, you know, just focus on being you in there right now. <laughs> Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. That would seem reasonable, but we're, what you're experiencing is something supernatural. It's not, uh, it's beyond the scope of the 3D world. It's something that, that has to do with this, the overlapping leaking of this other dimension we've been experiencing. And tapping into something, you are too. And I, I know, <laughs> I'm learning. I'm just learn, barely learning. Accept it, baby. It's okay. Accept it. Defy it. Let it spell. Would you like to live? Right? I'd like to spend a, a long life with you. I, I don't want anything more than that. And I, that's all I want, baby. Uh, I guess you can if you want to, but you know how I feel about that. I don't trust. I don't trust fucking strangers, dude. I don't tr even if there are dogs. I don't trust them. I'd rather figure it out myself, however. Man. Huh? Yeah. Shh, just breathe, baby. Something like a phenomenon. It is indeed something like a phenomenon. Okay. Wow. Yes. Let it, let it go. Like. You want me to come help you? Okay. No matter what you look like or what's going on in there, babe, I would not I wouldn't ever think less of it or different because of it, okay? You you gotta know that. Please. It's the kind of you know, when things like this happen, it's important and valuable to have someone that loves and cares about you. Baby, come on now. I don't find you gross. Sixty. Um, good, good. What does it say? I'm watching something right in the lampshade. 
Good. Okay. Okay. Don't hold your breath like that. Keep breathing. In your nose, out your mouth, slowly. At least seven times. Okay? Stabilize your breathing. It's important. I can't, uh, because, because of what I just told you. Exhaling is just as important as getting rid of toxins and waste as shit hissing, uh, blowing your nose, sweating. It's just as important. A lot of people just think it's to empty your lungs and get fresher air, but that's not it. It, it removes toxins from your body. That's why people who meditate and do kundalini yoga where it involves the fire technique. Amazing. It's, the, the act of breathing is, is a wonder unto itself. Very much. Yeah. The exhale is not just something you do mindlessly because you need fresh breath. To exhale is to remove things from your body that ought not be there. Things that will make you sick. Yep. You don't know, huh? <laughs> Okay, you need help? Okay. Yeah, go for it. Do what? Twitch video where that thing like basically came out of incision in my head and with the minutes the incision was gone. Okay, same kind of thing going on here. You're having surgery. You're having surgery. And it's a very quick surgery, and it's not, um, you know, one that a hospital would approve of or believe in, but it, it's very real. It's happening. <laughs> you know? Get out. I was, and I felt so much better when I got it out that night. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, man. That thing was twitching and kicking in, in my th Suddenly had fucking battled it into submission and freaking out because it knew it was about to expire. Uh, it it was over the course of less time than you spent already. But then again, it's it was. I, I'm sure you have a lot more uh, blockage to re relieve yourself of than I've ever had. Yeah, I know. Don't try not to think about that, okay? I know. If they come to the door, I'll handle it, okay? I don't know. Awesome. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's the way our body – to be sick is the norm. It's normal to have some sort of mental disorder or some kind of physiological disease. That's, that's the norm now. That's how sick our species has become. We are so disconnected from uh, our source, our source energy, what, that which we come from, that pe people cannot heal themselves if they're not aware that they can heal. You know what I mean? You have to at least be aware of it. Interesting. On um, your leg? Your thigh? Yeah. Inner thigh? Yeah. Most of my expulsions come from on my right side, too. Yeah. yeah. 
I actually can't even think of any coming from my left. It's always, almost always the right. My, my leg and my uh, um, what you call it? My leg and my foot. It's almost always the right. Uh, um, that I can recall, maybe not always, but if you don't and you remain passive and sit stilled with fear, then <laughs> every moment you do that, you're signing one more letter of your name to that contract, and uh, yeah, you, they'll hold you to your contracts. <laughs> That's the way this guy Rich puts it. The longer, so you got to nip it in the bud ASAP whenever it comes, whenever you get the, the, the fear. Got to nip that shit in the bud. Yep. With enough practice, you will no longer be scared of them or fearful. Like you saw me that one day at Skylar's when I didn't want to go out outdoors because I saw that orange orb like darting about and that's creepy night. I was scared shitless, dude. fear that I am that strong now you know you will be stronger you just have to be brave in the meantime yes well from my own experience up to this point I can say that for sure okay from what I've read from other people who know more about this than me I think yeah but I just said holds true indefinitely I but I will only tell you what I know based on my own Held true. Uh, yeah, I've had some scary times. I've had some uh, uh, severe bouts of spiritual warfare and many uh, different planes and levels at the same time. These fuckers, they, they tried hard. I think they thought they were close. They don't have a chance, though. Yeah, maybe even more than one. I know. You're going to be real fatigued. You're going to be tired. I know. We're going to get some water in you. We're going to have to get some water in you. You'll be fine. I know. It's supernatural. You don't like it? You're scared because it's you're scared of the unknown. What's happening right now, babe? Is amazing. It is an amazing blessing. Okay. It's a an amazing blessing. It's a step, a drastic step. In a life together. I don't you know. I don't know for sure. Nothing's promised. You know, like. Um, I don't know for sure how much better you are now but i do know this for sure you just made a drastic step in the right direction towards healing i'm sure of that much and that's okay okay accept it i mean Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, man.
What? Huh? What's wrong? You alright? Oh god. <sighs> Fuck me. <laughs> I'm trying. I breathe. Just breathe. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm fine. Much Not here that you'll just have to see later. I got it all documented though. It's amazing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That's so amazing. It's okay. You might not need to. Okay. Really? Give us in due time, baby. Get this shit out of you. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. No. No. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> yeah, pretty weird. There's, there's more. Uh, it's uh really amazing. I'm communicated. I mean uh. Communicated with. Ever before. And, uh. Okay. I don't have to ventilate anymore. It's okay. I was, I was having a really hard time breathing when I heard there. It's so much anxiety. 
No, it wasn't that. I just had too much anxiety to step into a hot room. I, <clears throat> I got a lot of anxiety all of a sudden about... Don't worry about it. I'm good now. That's all I have to say. I know exactly what you're talking about. I had that once. Remember that picture I, sent, uh, I originally sent to Dante is kind of a joke because it looked like wings on my back? Yeah, it, it's like slightly, slightly uh, sticky, some clear.